nose to be rolling up over here. Word is my bombs. <clears throat> I'm brisket. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. I ain't gonna be able to do it. Bird, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. wind hitting different. Y'all about to get the indoor lives real soon. The indoor lives is on the way, baby. That's all I got to say, baby. The indoor lives is on the way. Because it is brisking tenberry. And there's no way I'm going to be able to roll this L with this wind blowing like this. Yer. But now nah, they bugging. Day. They bugging though, baby. Weed low already. My weed game been suspect lately, man. Gotta step it up, baby. Tired of spending money on weed, I swear. I swear I'm tired of spending money on weed. It's gonna be the extra slim blunt today. Weed, weed is low, baby. Let me see, hold on. Damn, this shit gonna blow out my hand, bro. Pause. Hold on, hold on. It's a Jewish brick. It's a Jewish brisk ceremony out here right now. Good brisk ceremony. Oh man, I don't got no garbage cans. This is why people litter in the ghetto, man. Can I get a garbage can to put my damn trash away? Alright. Alright, bet. Life through galleries, which populating. New episode at nine. What time is it? Yeah, nine o'clock. New episode at nine cash. Alright, I'm just gonna put this warm cup of coffee right here, being that y'all don't have no ghetto, no, 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 no garbages in the ghetto, man. There's no garbages in the ghetto. <laughs> Niggas trying to call me while I'm on live. Come through with the five. Hey yo, they try to call me while I'm on live, but they don't know I had the five. Damn, it's cold out this bitch, nigga. Tomorrow y'all gonna be y'all gonna see me in the crib with the gen pop, the gen pop, with the gen pop fam cash app sign, nigga. That's my worst skin. It's crazy out here. Crazy out here, baby. It's crazy, baby. Crazy, baby. Come on, baby. It's the only heat. Why are you so cold? You can try to keep warm off your blunt heat. It's it real like that. Do what was populated. It's Friday. I forgot it's Friday, man. So on Fridays, like, niggas don't be online early in the morning like that. You feel me? People on Fridays, man, they be too happy that it's Friday. So, you know, they just be, you know, niggas done got their paycheck a little early. Niggas is in McDonald's. Niggas is in Burger King. Getting that motherfucking sausage and egg biscuit that they've been scheming on all week. But they ain't had the bread to be spending. Now they done got paid, nigga, like, let me get one of them motherfucking sausage egg McMuffins with a large coffee, a Cinnabon, get one of them cinnamon buns. Niggas going all the way in. Niggas ain't on YouTube. Niggas too busy talking about what they gonna do with that check. 
Blessings Unlimited. What's poppin'? Hood TMZ. What's really good? <coughs> yeah, my bro. But yeah, I ain't gonna be out here too long because it's tight brisking. You know what I mean? I can't be doing the shit. Come on, man. Fucking slim blunt keep going out. It's too cold for that. You know how I get cold with that lighter? That, that, that metal ball, that metal wheel on the lighter starts ripping your thumb open? When shit get real, nigga. You heard? When that motherfucking metal... That shit start clawing your shit out. Come on, bro. The wind ain't blowing right now. Hey. Big Boss Trey was populated. It sure is. You see, I'm back on Bub. You heard? That's my hood weather report. They could be like, what's the weather report today in New York? This is St. Laz with today's weather report. Outside, it is Bub. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the weather report in New York. Bub. Make sure you have that bubble on, nigga. Bub life is out this bitch right now. I'm gonna start doing that. Wherever I see a nigga with a bub on, I'm gonna salute them niggas. Bub life, what's poppin'? Bub life. Niggas rapping that bub life, man. Niggas don't be wearing bubs in other cities like us. New York, we wear them bubs, baby. You know what I mean? Rep that bub life out this motherfucker. I see the nigga yesterday. I ain't even gonna hold you like a newborn baby. I see the nigga yesterday. Nigga had on a turquoise biggie. I said, ooh. I said, ooh. Getting greasy out here. Nigga had a brand new turquoise biggie on. That shit was looking crazy. I was like, damn, man, them biggies is coming back heavy. Them biggies, them shits is coming back heavy, nigga. I might have to grab one of those this winter. If I could clam out this poverty hole that I'm in. I might have to grab one of them shits this winter, nigga. Them bigs is back, nigga. I know how it feels to wake up fucked up. I get one of them shits, nigga. I get one of them bigs. I'm gonna be walking the streets spitting all type of biggie lyrics. I know how it feels to wake up fucked up. Pockets broke as hell, another rock to sell. People look at you like use the users, selling drugs to all the losers, mad Buddha abuser. But then I'm spitting Jay Z, I'm spitting on big bars with Jay Z voice. But they don't know about the stress filled days. <laughs> Baby on the way, man. <laughs> Mad bills to pay. <laughs> so you drink tank of rain. You know what I'm saying, top? <laughs> nah, let me stop. I'm stop fucking with Jay. <laughs> so you drink tank of rain. <laughs> so we can reminisce and wish he wasn't living so devilish, baby. Because I remember I was just like you. Her GED was a BIG. I got P-A-I-D, that's why my mom's hate me. She was forced to throw me out of Marcy, no doubt. And I figured out the Marcy Knicks went for 20 down south. You heard? <laughs> I'ma do a whole, I'ma do a whole big mixtape spitting in, in the Jay-Z voice. Niggas bleed just like us. <laughs> Niggas bleed just like us. Hey yo, DeHaven. Hey yo, shout out to the bro DeHaven, man. Hey yo, he new to the ch DeHaven is new to the channel, so DeHaven told me the other day, yo, you was looking like you was falling asleep while we was doing the interview. He don't know about the sleepy eyelids. He don't know about the low lids, aka low lids. You heard? Z boy, aka low lids Capone. You heard? But now nah, he don't know about them low lids. You feel what I'm saying? Nigga like, yo, your eyes was closed. Nigga, my eyes is open in the motherfucker, nigga. You heard? I just smoked that dankery, you heard? These eyes be low, nigga. I'm sorry. I'm gonna start just being like this. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing my, when I do my next interview, I'm gonna be like this. 
Right. All right, so then what happened? Niggas be like, the fuck is wrong with that nigga last? <laughs> Word, I'm gonna come on live like this. Yo, Gen Pop gang in the building, what's poppin'? Nigga looking like he just smoked a whole, smoked a whole boulder. Nigga threw a boulder in a soda can and hit that shit. <laughs> Z-Man, suicide polo with the ski man. <laughs> You heard niggas gotta get familiar with the channel, bro. These eyelids is heavy, my nigga. I know, I be looking at myself like, eh, nigga, I'm looking blind off this bitch. You heard? That's when I relax my eyelids, though. You know, if I perk them up, yo, what up, what's good, bro? Okay, what's happening? If I see a nigga admiring, but looking, not admiring, but looking too long, I'd be like this. What's up, bro? Hey, how you doing? Yeah, it's me. Smash you in your head with a city bike, nigga. Pick up a city bike in the middle of the street. Bruh, what's poppin'? Her? Nigga try to front on me. You be the first nigga that ever get hit with a city bike, nigga. Hey, what you said, my nigga? Hold on. Swipe my card. <coughs> Hold on. What? What you said? Bruh! Smash a nigga with the city bike. Bruh, what's poppin', nigga? What's up? Told you me and my nigga wop. We were some funny ass niggas up north. We used to have a motto like, whatever, whoever, if it pops off, whatever's around, we popping with it. Know what I mean? That was the motto. They used to be like, yo, I don't give a fuck if it was two pieces of loose leaf paper. Nigga front, I'm grabbing them shit. What you said, nigga? Boom, bing, bong, bing, bing. Throw the loose leaf paper in his face. Bing, bong, bing, bing. That was the motto, my nigga. No matter what's around you, that shit becomes a weapon when a nigga is out of line. You heard? Nigga got a tea bag on his locker. What you said, my nigga? Uh, bing bong, bing bing. Nigga throw the tea bag in his face. What? Uh, bing bong, bing. Heard? Niggas used to be wildin', my nigga. I used to be asking a nigga why. I be giving that nigga imaginings, uh, imaginary scenarios. I be like, nah, son, so what if you was in the supermarket? You heard a nigga just bump into you and be like, yo, move out my fucking way, nigga. That nigga be like, can of progresso, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing. Nigga take the loaf of bread. What, what you say, my nigga? Loaf of bread. Boop, pop, beep, beep, what's poppin'? Straight up. <laughs> Niggas used to be crying with that shit. <laughs> Manny Gomez was popping. Atlanta was popping. Derek DeFridis was populating. Lebner Dangle was really. Pen the Delivery Guy was popping. Big Boss Trade was popping. Irwin was popping. Yeah, man. But yeah, that new episode, man. That new episode, man. Nigga, Ebron was just calling me, man. I'm on live, Ebron. Promoting your episode, man. New Ebron dropping at nine o'clock. Y'all niggas thought I ain't had no more ammunition. We thought we ain't had no more ammunition. Well, Rikers Allen Fight Club, nigga. Nine o'clock. You heard? Rikers Allen Fight Club, nine o'clock. It's too late. It's too late to skate, baby. It's too late to skate, baby. That's all I'm saying. Rikers Allen Fight Club, nigga. Tune in, be there, be square. You heard? The thing is about that Rikers Island Fight Club, back in the days, it wasn't only it wasn't only inmates that was involved, nigga. COs was putting in that, that knuckle game too. You heard? It was many a COs on Rikers Island that if you told you got too disrespectful with, them niggas would take that belt off like this. What you wanna do, bro? You want five minutes? Yo, lock us in between the gates, five minutes. Niggas will go out there and scrap it up. Nobody get written up. Nobody get jumped, thrown in the bing, none of that. Nigga be like, what? I'm saying, my nigga, what you wanna do? You wanna, you wanna, you wanna get it on? All right, let me fuck this little nigga up. Niggas be scrapping. Sometimes the niggas get plucked out. Niggas get plucked out and hold it down.
John Torres, which popularly <coughs> Eugene Jones was popping. Shout out to the bro Big Pep. Shout out to Computer. We going in this week, bro. This weekend. This weekend. That's going. That's what's starting to be my new schedule, man. You know what I mean? I edit throughout the five days of the week. And I record stories on the weekends, man. You heard? That's the real only way. Oh, I got a crazy story yesterday. Shout out to the bro Shasha from Manhattanville Projects, man. Shout out to bro Shasha. We did a good one yesterday. New Rikers Allen Live episode coming. The bro been on Rikers Allen for 44 months with a parole hold and a bullshit ass robbery case for a cell phone and that the bro says he didn't do. And they've been holding this nigga for 44 months without a speedy trial. You feel me? This is why they telling they saying to close Rikers Island down because Rikers Island and got it's so big, bro. It's hard to it's hard to process shit the correct way. It's hard to give all them niggas medical treatment. It's hard to get all them niggas they judicial services and shit like that. Know what I mean? So the bottom line is, my nigga. Shout out to the bro Shasha Rikers Island live episode dropping probably this weekend or or, or early this week. You feel me? And um, the bro been held for 44 months without a speedy trial, man. You feel what I'm saying? Over a cell phone robbery that he ain't do. That he had proof that he was in Massachusetts at the time. So this is how fucked up the system is. Nigga got a notarized letter. Got a notarized letter. You'll hear the story, man. You'll hear the story and you judge for yourself. If you're a good jailhouse lawyer or street lawyer or real lawyer. We might need your services. That's all I'm saying. That's how I want this gem pop, this shit to become where if the if a dude is locked up and, and, and experiencing some injustices, that the network on this channel is so big that when we broadcast it, somebody on the network that's connected to things we ain't connected to handle some business, my nigga. That's how strong I want this shit. Where gen pop can help uh stop some injustices of the law like people being detained wrongfully and um, held without bail and parole holes for dumb shit we'll be able to at least help a motherfucker you know get some counsel or a motherfucker make a phone call to help a nigga out you know what i'm saying like if i could do that that's all i give a fuck about when a nigga saquon was locked up it was all type of gym pop niggas like yo i'm on standby you want me to go to the jail and see this nigga right now like niggas was niggas was on deck you know, and I'm like, you know, son may may go home. So let's not, you know, let's not get crazy just yet. Let's see if son um get up out of this on his next court date. But if he would have had to do some time or they would have held the nigga, Gen Pop was ready to roll, baby. Gen Pop was ready to roll. Niggas ready to go up there and all that. Episode is dropping at nine. Let me make sure I ain't. Okay, we got 20 minutes. We got 20 minutes for that new slap. You heard a lot of dudes was hitting me yesterday. I ain't get back to because I had a crazy, a crazy long day and doing all type of wild shit yesterday. I was driving like a motherfucking Uber. I was an Uber man yesterday. You feel what I'm saying? I'm tired, nigga. I fell asleep. I'm, I was so tired, nigga. I, I, I laid down with the computer. And, and started downloading Premiere. And before fucking Premiere even finished installing, matter of fact, I was installing Premiere. Before that shit finished installing, nigga, I was out. I was out. You heard, woke up this morning, a six cash, started editing. Know what I mean? Edited the first piece to that De Haven interview. I'm putting that interview out, I'm letting y'all niggas know. This interview I did with DeHaven when this shit comes out, shit is two hours long. And I'm putting the whole shit out, nigga. Because the whole shit is action packed. You heard Action Jackson, nigga. How, know what I mean? Time for some action, nigga. Nigga, DeHaven tried to throw on Red Man. He tried to throw on Red Man, Superman lover. And thought I, did, I wouldn't know the words to that shit. <laughs> Evil laugh. <laughs> I was out for lunch and shit, puffing on the blunt to get my head wrecked. You know what I mean? I ain't even going, you know? I ain't even, you know, I'm, I'm going to show my age, man. But I'm just saying, nigga. <laughs> you thought Z-Boy ain't no no ready? You thought I ain't no no ready? <laughs> Listen, nigga. 
In this corner, we had a funk body snatcher. P Funkadelic, then I gotcha. Hard enough that I could chew a whole bag of rocks. Don't get me started, bro. Her backpack would be on my back. I had a big, stupid, giant backpack on my back like this. We popping. Cuz Reggie Noble's pissed, I crush your whole mainframe. Boy, you couldn't maintain the funk. I have your rap style for lunch, chump. Please, man, just please leave me alone with this hip hop shit, cuz I'm a hip hop iconic historian, nigga. For my era, for my era. I ain't gonna say, I'm trying to keep, shout out to the bro Cosmo D. If you ain't see that new interview that I got with Cosmo D, Y'all niggas gotta go watch that. Y'all don't understand how old school I am. Check my new series, Gold School. In a minute, I'm gonna get Ralph McDaniels on this motherfucker. You heard? And when I get the story of Ralph, the story of Uncle Ralph, oh, 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 oh. you know how a nigga be so ignorant? He gotta, he gotta run when he laugh. Oh, 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 oh. Nigga, when I get that story of Uncle Ralph, Help me, help me, because I might have a nervous breakdown putting out material like that and not getting my just do in the game. You heard? That's my new name, man, just do. Because I don't never get it. But let me tell you something, bro. When I do that story of Uncle Ralph, Niggas don't know, niggas don't know that Uncle Ralph history. I'm, I'm keeping it real, y'all don't know. You know, Showtime, y'all put out your little documentary, video music box, that was dope, Showtime. But I'ma tell you this, nigga. I'ma tell you this, nigga. Showtime, your shovel. Y'all niggas got the, the CVS shovels. You heard? Plastic shit, shit, brick pop. You know what I mean? Me? I got the horticulture. I got the Franklin Correctional Facility horticulture shovel. You heard? So when I dig, nigga, I'm digging. I'm digging. You heard? Differently. You'll see. Brooklyn legend fruit corn in the building. What's populating my broskins? You already know. We're going to get it in. Clay Mitchell, what's popping? See, the thing is about tofu. <clears throat> Queen Lotus. The thing is about tofu, why tofu gets a bad rep, is because people that don't really know how to fuck with it, they try to just cook it regular, and that shit just be tasting like you eating motherfucking, a nigga took a sponge, nigga took like a nigga took a sponge from the 99 cent store, cut that shit up into eight pieces and threw it in some boiling water. You feel me? That's not how to, you gotta get busy with that shit. It's different kinds of tofu. You got, you got silken tofu, you got firm tofu, and you got extra firm tofu. The type of tofu I be fucking with be extra firm tofu, where that shit is almost the, the texture of chicken. And the, the hate these loud ass trains, man. Then, of course, when the train is on time, another loud ass train goes by. Yeah, but tofu, the tofu firmness is just about how much water is in the tofu. You know what I mean? Niggas be trying to cook the silk in tofu, that's not gonna work out. Niggas be trying to use, I know like some Chinese restaurants, I'm like, yo, let me get some tofu with broccoli. And they try to use the soft tofu. That ain't going to work out, Lord. That's not going to work out. Y'all got to get the extra firm tofu. You understand? And that shit is the texture of chicken. And that's a fact. You could bake that shit. You could do anything. I know niggas say, yo, that shit lower your testosterone. Da, da, da. Nigga, I got too much testosterone as it is. Nigga, that shit might need to get lowered. Nigga, if I punch a nigga in the nose or something out here. You're but it's like, yeah, man. But what I was just gonna say, I was gonna say something else, man. I forgot. But yeah, I'm trying to get to these 58,000 subscribers. It's rough, man. It's been a rough couple of months, man. I told y'all niggas I've been out here bunting. I was hitting home runs a couple of months ago, but I've been I've been bunting lately. You understand what I'm saying? Trying to get the first base out this motherfucker. But um 
<clears throat> yeah, I'm at that 57,000, you know what I mean? The power is with God. See, this is science. Let me break down the science because, you know, shit don't be coincidental sometimes. Shit be spe universe speaking to you. Know what I mean? 57,000 subscribers, you know what I mean? The power is with God. That's power with God, you heard? The power is with God. That's me. It's what I'm going to do with that power right now to try to get to the next level. Then when I get to that next level, that's going to be power build. It's going. What is that power going to build for you? Okay, you got the power now. It was with you. You was the God. You did it. You feel me now? What is that power going to build for you? What are you going to use that power to build? What type of foundation you going to build with that power? You feel what I'm saying? So once I get to that power build, you feel what I'm saying? A strong foundation is going to be built. You heard? And then I'm going to get to that power boom. You heard that power is going to bring into existence is going to born a new reality you feel me it's going to born the reality that i projected you feel what i'm saying that power is going to born at that 59,000 subscribers and then when i get to that 60,000 um subscribers then equality will be in my cipher you heard meaning i would get to that level that i want to get to where i'm on the same level as these other niggas nigga that equality is in my cipher. Then once that equality comes into my cipher, then you heard. Then the not then the equality's knowledge. You heard the type of knowledge that you will obtain from getting to that next level where you ain't under none of these niggas. You on the same level as these niggas. We equal now. You feel what I'm saying? Now the knowledge you obtain, you feel me? You gonna get to that equality wisdom where you're going you're going to spread that you're going to spread that with your wisdom you're going to spread that equality you understand what i'm saying you're going to teach and the people around you they're going to understand that equality come on bro this never stops the equality has an understanding now you bring in an understanding amongst you bring in an understanding of that equality amongst your cipher you feel me i'm going to stop there my dude because this will never end but um yeah man we doing it, man. Truth for facts. What's poppin'? Oh yeah, my nigga Ralph, man. When I bring, when I come up with that story of Ralph, man. <laughs> for y'all niggas who don't know who Ralph McDaniels is, Ralph McDaniels had the most legendary uh, local video show in the United States of America. Video music box. Basically, that show was so iconic that. Video Music Box, tell him I said this, tag him in this. I said Video Music Box was the first internet. You see how uh, we learn what the fuck is out and what's going on now with the internet? The internet used to be Channel 31 Video Music Box. Nigga, you ran home from school to see what was popping in the hip hop world, my nigga. And not just in New York, in LA, down south, he was playing videos from anybody from anywhere that was popping. You understand what I'm saying? And then this is the thing niggas don't know about the nigga Ralph, you know? That nigga was filming a, a lot of those videos himself. That was the whole clause. He was filming the videos for niggas and then um, premiering them on his show. You heard? So he birthed, um, I'm keeping it real, my nigga. Niggas already was doing their thing. But Ralph made Big Daddy Kane a superstar in New York. Slick Rick a superstar. You understand what I'm saying? Public Enemy, superstars. He made them with that show. That show was the hood internet. And anything that nigga played, niggas knew that shit was like going gold in the hood. If you could make it to Video Music Box, it was the equivalent of making it on Netflix, nigga. In the trending video section. That's what it was. That's that's how, the, that's what Video Music Box was. And Video Music Box still come on to this day and it's still bang crazy. But what Ralph did was crazy, my nigga. And he do not get as much just. He get his just due, but not as much, my nigga. Because if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have knew who the fuck N.W.A. was. We wouldn't have knew who MC Hammer was. I learned who MC Hammer was on Video Music Box. Brooklyn, we ain't had no fucking cable. You feel me? Unless you live by Brooklyn College, some motherfucker over here. But if you was in Brownsville, you ain't had no cable, nigga. Them buildings was too tall to have cable. You feel me? Shit was blocking a signal, nigga. It wasn't no, it wasn't no, what would you call that shit? Fiber optics, nigga. It wasn't no fiber optics, nigga. It was a fucking antenna. You know what I mean? With some foil on that bitch. You feel what I'm saying? With a coat hanger in that bitch. When that antenna popped, you had to stick that coat hanger down in that bitch.
Today is my oldest daughter's birthday, man. Scorpio gang in the building. Shout out to my oldest daughter. You heard? Today is her birthday, man. That nigga Ralph got footage of Biggie spitting when that nigga was like 12 years old. That nigga be pulling out some footage, my nigga, that you don't know he's... Yo, listen, Ralph McDaniels is a gold mine. I'm going to explain this to people out there because I don't have the money to do it yet, but somebody out there may have the money to do it. I'm going to explain this to you right quick before this episode drops, right? Ralph is a fucking walking billionaire. Let me tell you why he's a walking billionaire and a billion for other motherfuckers that's stupid out there that don't know that that nigga's a walking billionaire. My nigga, that nigga owns, owns hundreds and hundreds of video music box video music box episodes with artists that you would never see again on nowhere niggas first time ever being on camera first time having a video on tv first time performing on stage that nigga got footage from all of that if somebody with major major fucking guap and i don't mean to be talking about ralph's business but this is, I'm a, I'm a business nigga and this is how I view it. And if my cake was up and when it gets up, if somebody else don't do it, I'm going to fucking do it. You understand what I'm saying? My nigga, if this nigga could get a major network, and this may be going on now because I'm out the loop for the last couple of years with Ralph. But if, the, if a major network put video, let's say VH1 or MTV or BET or, or Netflix, or Amazon Prime was to put video music box. And that, and you know what, Ralph? That's what Ralph need to do. Streaming services. If a nigga was to put up 400, 400 video music box episodes into syndication, you know what would happen, my nigga? All of the old school artists that are struggling right now financially would be financially rehabilitated, my nigga. Because the fucking uh, publishing off of four, five hundred episodes in syndication coming on every night, four and five episodes coming on every night. Nigga, that shit would be putting so much money in old school artist hands. Niggas would be getting fucking rich off of them syndicated episodes from the fucking 80s. You feel what I'm saying? And whoever puts the money, whatever network backs that up, they're going to make billions off that shit. Yeah, man, you know, dudes that got money, hey, y'all bugging the fuck out, nigga. <laughs> I'll be sitting at a round table with all type of record labels getting these motherfucking episodes approved and signing contracts. All right, nigga, y'all get this much, we get this much. We about to throw 900 episodes in syndication on four different streaming services, nigga. Lights out. Lights out. I see you in the building. Shout out my niggas. Shout out my London niggas. Shout out my Birmingham niggas. Shout out my motherfucking SW9 niggas, man. My Brixton niggas, man. You already snow cone. Word up. Mike Book was popping. I see you in the building. Crazy Bailey was popping. Appreciate them birthday shout outs for my, for my daughter. You heard? November 18th, baby. I was in the fucking downstate correctional facility when my daughter was born. That shit is... When that story of Z-Boy come out, man, y'all understand. Y'all gonna understand. My shit is a two-part documentary. I'm on it, baby. I'm working on getting that camera right now. Shout out to the Grove Vaughn P out of D.C. We making moves. We about to get some professional cameras. It's about to get fucking ugga mugger. It's about to get ugga mugger on these niggas. Better than I can tell y'all niggas, but I'm about to do 
solution, bro. I'm about to get into the motherfucking movie business and fucking documentary business so heavily, it's going to get ugly. And what I'm about to start doing is documentaries on particular storytellers. Whole documentaries on particular storytellers. Like, let's say a nigga's a great storyteller on the channel. I'm going to get up with that nigga and we want to do an hour documentary. I ain't even going to break. I ain't even going to um, reveal all of the formula yet. But I'm about to start Change the game like we supposed to man freak in the house. I was listening to that shit yesterday. That shit was hard. Change the game, nigga. Beanie Seagull went fucking crazy on that change the game joint. Now, I remember when that joint first got, I wasn't really feeling it like that. I'm like, I don't know about this beat. I don't know. And then after a couple of weeks, I was like, change the game that we supposed to change the game. You know what I mean? I said, nah, that shit hard. I don't know what I was talking about. You know how you think something is whack first and then you hear it for a month and you're like, what the fuck was I talking about? This shit is that heat. That's the power of repetition, my nigga. You, put, you play something on the radio five, six times a day, you gonna start liking that shit, nigga. You're gonna start, you're gonna be like, everybody in the club getting tipsy. You heard? Niggas play that shit 10 times a day, you gonna be like, everybody in the club getting tipsy. Straight up. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. Damn. Let's see what time it is, man. I just, I just peeped. If it was National Geographic, they would do the, I just peeped how my, how raw paper gets lost. You pull something else out your pocket and that shit slides and hits the floor and you don't notice it. I stay finding raws on the floor. Walk, nigga, I'm taking that, nigga. I stay finding a nigga half a pack of raw on the floor. Niggas hop out they whip, take their car keys out your floor right out blue. I come right by like this. I don't mind if I do. I done found out new papers from niggas like, oh, what's this? Hmm, Bob Marley Mild? Let me check these out. I'll be in the crib like this. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. That beat though, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. Like I said, it's a different world when you in the club. We going live in two minutes. Two minutes that premiere is coming, you heard? Niggas be in the motherfucking club, bro. Is a difference between hearing a record in the streets, on the radio, on TV, on your video show. When you hear that shit in the club, where the motherfucking speakers is taller than you, and that shit be like, everybody in the club getting tipsy. You be like, this damn. God damn. That kick is bananas. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. Boom. You be like, damn, nah, that shit is hard. I'm telling you, bro. Them speakers will fuck your life up. I done been in some clubs where I thought I ain't like a particular record. And when that shit came on in the club, I was like, God damn. I understand. I understand, baby. Word up. Yeah, it's fucked up. All y'all niggas gonna be like this today driving. Going to y'all jaw, you're gonna be like, everybody in the club getting tips. Your sh <laughs> oh man. Come on, son. Nah, son. We ain't get to Thanksgiving yet. You riding around with the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer nose on your car, man. Come on, Lord. Niggas ain't get a winter coat yet, man. I'm too broke to be seeing motherfucking red noses on the car, man. Don't remind me, nigga. But yo. New Rikers Island legend right now, man. I mean, let's slide over there, man. Y'all 68 niggas that's up in here. Meet me over there, pause, and we're going to watch this new episode, man. Leave a comment. Share that to Facebook if you love me. Yersht, holla at me.